Elements of the Palestinian Hamas movement used gliders in their attack on Israel on October 7 last. This was the first operation of its kind in which gliders were used to launch armed attacks, and some factors may have prompted the Palestinian movement to use this unconventional weapon, which, according to the Eurasian Times website specializing in defense affairs, inspired the U.S. military to think about using the same method. The site noted that the United States is considering the possibility of sending soldiers into combat using gliders or other PAM personal air mobility devices. Paragliding using engines is a popular adventure sport. These aircraft usually fly at speeds ranging from 24 to 80 km per hour at altitudes of up to 5,500 meters or more, with specific permissions. The weight of these light aircraft ranges from 20 to 41 kg, and the pilot relies on them during takeoff. Its slow forward speed and soft wings also make it unsuitable for high winds, atmospheric turbulence or intense thermal activity, especially for inexperienced pilots. The ability of gliders to fly low and slow, their ease of transportation, the use of minimal equipment, their low maintenance costs, their few metal parts, and their low radar cross-section were among the attractions that Hamas had to favor them in the October 7 attack. This combination allowed the movement to evade radar systems, landing on their targets quickly. By flying at low altitudes and crossing the Gaza border fence, Hamas operatives managed to evade Israel's Iron Dome radar system, as hundreds of gliders took off and landed in southern Israeli towns in a matter of minutes on October 7 last year. Thanks to their ability to carry up to 15 liters of fuel and travel up to 100 kilometers, these gliders provided an affordable means of attack. The process from assembly to takeoff can be completed in just a few minutes, and training on motor gliders is also considered not too complicated. The pilot can be trained in a few weeks.